Today, I'm shopping all the new Christmas items at Dollar General. I can't wait to share them with you. My Dollar General has this table at the front of the store where they put out all the best stuff. So let's take a look at what new Christmas items they have. I love all of the detail on these vases. This one's only $6, but look at how great this would be as an accent piece, this $5 vase. I love these. These are super trendy. I love that they come in two different sizes and you could always change up the color. I feel like they would be so much more expensive in a higher end site, so we're gonna pick them up. This larger tree is 15 and they typically always carry their stuff in two or three sizes. This one is 12. Dollar General is always putting out new throw pillows and blankets. I absolutely love this knit blanket. It's $15. I just found these trees, you guys, only $7, and I think they're gonna be so great. They have one that's flock, they have this one, and then a plain one. I think I'm gonna grab this one and then maybe change out the pot. So I feel like this Christmas tree just needs something at the base, so I'm over in like kind of the kitchen towel section, looking to see if there's any options here. Like there's some table runners. I'm gonna try this one and see if there's enough fabric here that it would wrap around. Okay, it would have to be like this. Okay, so I may be a little short. So I'd have to do something in the back. There's these cute tassels, which I really like as well. Okay, I don't like that as well with the tree. Maybe I need one like this. I'm wondering if I could wrap vertically and then that way I'd be able to get it around the whole entire thing. See, this one I can't because I can't wrap this one vertically. So I'm thinking this one might be the winner. So I love the way the tree looked. I just wanted to update the base a little bit. Now, if you didn't want to wrap it, you could always put it in a larger pot or a crock that you had on hand. First, I'm just going to wrap my tea towel around and cut it so I have an overhang of about two inches. Next, I'm using one of my favorite sprays whenever I'm adding fabric to a piece, and that's the Scotch Fabric Spray. It is great for really holding items in place. So I'm going to put it all over my fabric, wrap my fabric around my tree, making sure that it's nice and straight. Then I'm going to tuck the top portion in. I'll cut off the excess, leaving about an inch or two at the bottom, and then I will tuck that in. Now at this point, if you need any more spray, you can add it. You could also add in hot glue, but I'm telling you that Scotch Fabric Spray really does a great job. I'll link it for you down in the description box. Now since you can see the inside a little bit, I'm just going to add in some pine cones. Then I'll just pull out the branches, making sure I fluff them as much as possible. And here's how it looks displayed in my home. I found a ton of holiday decor over here. I love the decor that Dollar General puts out every year. So let me show you some of my favorites. Actually, I'll probably show you most of it. So these trees, they had these out last year, but I just think they're so pretty. They're around $4 and you can get them in some different colors. The thing I love about Dollar General is they always try to do like higher end looks. So like this is a $12 vase and it's got really great texture to it. This wreath is awesome. You could put it like on your window, get like three of them and put them in a row on windows. You could also use it as a base, put like a big candle in it. This is $6. 
I love this metal reindeer. Let's see how much this is, $6. If you didn't like this part, you could always take it off, spray it whatever color you like. So I found something kind of interesting. These are called a set of two lighted boxes for $18. I'm assuming what you do is you just put them underneath your Christmas tree to create like some fun different boxes or you could sit them out on your fireplace as well. These are really cute tins. Just put a faux tree in there. You could add these hanging bells to a wreath or you could put them with your garland feel like this might make a good DIY. <laughs> so I'm gonna start by detaching my two bells. I'm gonna keep this nautical rope because I plan to use it at the end. Next, I'm going to take off the hanging pieces because I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do with them. So I went ahead and took those off. Next, I'm gonna use my rub and buff. I wanted these to have a gold appearance, but I also wanted to mix two colors to really have like a variation in the tone. And I'm gonna use a foam brush and add the rub and buff on. I'm also going to put the rub and buff on the center because these are going to go on my mantle and I wanna make sure that you can't see the white on the inside. Yes, I am on my way. We'll put our differences aside. I added rub and buff to the center pieces as well. Next, I grabbed some twine that I had, and I'm going to start by just twisting it at the bottom putting a little bit of hot glue at the bottom and then wrapping it all the way up and then hot gluing at the top. And then I'm going to use my wire cutters to attach these back onto my bells. I'll use the existing nautical rope to tie them back together. And then I just hung them on the center of my mantle. I'll show you guys how it looks. So I literally think Dollar General is watching my DIY videos because I created this last year. And I also did this as a DIY. I don't know, I'm just saying. So I love this metal reindeer. I'm not a fan of the snowflake, but you could take that off and spray paint this to match whatever your decor is. You could spray paint it red, black, green, blue, anything. And this one is $10. So that's exactly what we're gonna do with these reindeers. I picked up two of them. They're a little bit different, but I started by just removing this snowflake. It was a little tedious to do, but I'm using my wire cutters to help me out. And I was able to get them off with pretty minimal effort. Now I will say it did leave a little bit of an opening on the reindeer. So when you spray paint them, you're just gonna have to show them on the other side. Now I did have trouble figuring out what color spray paint I wanted to use. I went with like a light brown. I was trying to make kind of a natural look. And then I decided to come in with this warm caramel, but honestly spray paint these to be whatever color fits in with your decor. I love adding reindeers in my decor and here's a look at how mine turned out. Decorative ribbon for just a dollar. A lot of fun ones to choose from. I like this one. Love this set of three ornaments. They also started putting out their holiday candy and you could use these as stocking stuffers. 
Or like these would be great to send to school with your kids. So every year I always buy these. I love the Reese's Pieces. These are a dollar and I love putting them in stockings. I put them in my stockings, my husband's, my kids. They also have pistachios. The jars at Dollar General make really great gifts. You could put something in here. This is $7, so you could fill this up with something and give us a gift. They also usually have great mason jars with like holiday toppers. This one's $2, and then this is their dollar version. And you can get it in green or red. I had to grab one of these candy jars. A really simple DIY you could do is just fill it with your favorite candy you wanted to keep around the house or personalize it and give it as a gift. You guys, these are the most adorable tins. This is a $3, it says it's a snowman nutcracker tin, but you could put anything in here and that would make such a cute gift. They have it in Santa Claus, they have the snowman, and then there's also the nutcracker version. Love these. If you're doing a big gift basket, you could use a container like this. This is $10. I think Dollar General has some of the best containers you can use for food gifts. I feel like these mugs for $3 are so pretty. Love this one. But if you wanted to get one that was more neutral, they have one that's got like this sweater finish on it. It says Mary on the inside. Really cute. All of them are $3. But then over here, they also have, look at these. This one says homemade and it's got a little spout on here. It's got ounces on there. There's also this one that says measure, so pretty. There's just so many different things from trivet to little Santa trays to put out your cookies. Like you really have a lot of different options. They also have Tupperware up here. Like if you're giving food as a gift to your neighbors. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment the word of the day, which is mug. This one's $10. It's a lighted six foot garland. It's flocked, so it's kind of shedding, but this one actually looks pretty nice for $10. There's those some stems and picks back here for a dollar. They have little antlers that you could put in your wreaths. And then let's see what, oh, the, I love these. These are cute. Oh, mistletoe hanger is what that is. $3 wreath. I always pick up a bottle of this faux snow for a lot of DIYs. They have it here for $2.50. Another cool thing I saw you guys is they have this willow tree for outside for $25. It says it's four feet tall, but it looks pretty cool. There's a whole Crayola section of stocking stuffers. My kids really love these silly scent. They're just like scented markers. They also have them in like a crayon version. And Delaney was noticing that they also have Model Magic for a dollar that you can use for crafts. All right, a lot of fun things we're finding. This is a scratch off advent calendar. That's interesting. I think the kids would like that. And then my daughter who loves putty and slime, these are little putties where you can add in the beads. She would absolutely love that for a dollar. They have it in like a gingerbread and then they also have this cute little mug. If you like doing any fun crafts with your kids, they have several options. You can also make these little snowman. And I have to tell you guys, Dollar General still has their prices at a dollar. So that's actually cheaper than Dollar Tree. Oh, this one might be broken. I don't think it's working. <laughs> I love all the ornaments that they have. Let's pick out some of the best ones. Always love the nutcrackers. You can easily paint these like we did in that one DIY, only a dollar. These are also really cute too. I love the greenery. Definitely could make that myself, but a cute ornament. And then this one is adorable. This little snowballs one. I love that they're only priced at a dollar. Ooh, 
these are cute. What are these little mini gingerbread trees? This is cute. It says Holly Market Evergreens and has some greenery in it. That's really cute. This little stocking is adorable. I always like a snowflake, and if you don't like what's on it, you can always paint it, change it up. This one is all is bright, and there's also one that says let it snow. It's cold outside. So I found this pack of napkins off of Amazon and I picked them up thinking that they may work for a DIY. So I'm gonna try it with this snowflake. So I'm gonna figure out where on this napkin I want to add to my snowflake and then I'm gonna position it on top of it. Next, I'm going to cut off the excess. I'm gonna add some Mod Podge to the top of my ornament. and then I'm gonna place the napkin on top. I really wanted that peacock to show through, so I kind of tried to position it so you could see the whole peacock. I cut off the excess pieces of the napkin, and then I cut slits into the napkin. Next, I'm going to add some Mod Podge to the edges and try to press it down to hold it in place. I kind of used my foam brush as well to kind of hold everything in place. Once it had a chance to dry, I put a coat of Mod Podge over the top and let that completely dry. Now looking back on it, it did show that craft wood through a little bit. I think if I was to do it again, I would probably spray paint the ornament white before I added on the napkin. I'm not seeing a ton of gifts out yet, but I did see these tablet pillows. They have this one, this is $12. They also have it in the pink form as well. And then there's a little pocket in the back, $12. They have lots of options for $1 wrapping paper that are about 30 square feet. I like this candy cane one. And then I also love these. I don't know, what, what do you call these, Delaney? <laughs> I don't know, it reminds me of craft yeah, paper. Yeah, like the craft paper ones really cute options. All right, you're gonna have to let me know which item down in the comments you're gonna be picking up from Dollar General and let me know what your favorite DIY was. Don't be afraid to try that project you've always wanted to try. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Make sure you subscribe because I want to see you back here. Bye.